This is the um, public display portion of the Connor Museum, and this is the piece of the museum that um, school groups come to and that you could visit if you wanted to, to see the museum. Where we are putting a lot of our efforts for the Connor Museum these days is to try and expand the educational experience for the visitors and let them really come away with not only having seen some cool animals, but also having learned some new things about them. Um, and so we're upgrading a lot of our displays and um, a lot of that work is being done with undergraduate volunteers. We rely very heavily on undergraduate students here at WSU to help us with the research collection, um, both in terms of specimen preparation and databasing all of the, um, the, the specimens and getting them online so that people can find them. But also, um, undergraduate students are helping us redesign these displays and, um, and build displays that focus on some sort of question that's of interest to them. So for example, this display over here is a display that was put together by some students um, just last spring that shows the um, hazards of using lead shot and what lead shot do to the ecosystem by um, leading to lead poisoning in raptors and also in waterfowl. And we also have a new series of talks that um, we started last year with, that we're calling Museum Chats. And these Museum Chats are an effort to bring people in who are either doing research or who are interested in natural history in one way or another to talk about um, their research or their interests and why it's interesting. And so last year we had a very interesting talk on sort of the uh, historical perspective on David Douglas who is an early explorer in this region. We had another talk um, soon after that on extracting DNA from um, fossilized mastodons and mammoths and what that DNA can be used for um, and whether someday we may be able to actually go on and clone a mammoth. Um, another important um, component of our public education work here at the Connor Museum is to um, introduce the people in the Palouse, the people in the region here, to um, the kind of research that goes on on campus, and, and not just research that uses the museum, but including that kind of research, but just what is modern day biological research all about, what kinds of questions we tackle, and how do we do that.